Hello and welcome to my new series, The Metal Freesome, where we pick three interesting albums from the week and review them. Enough said. So up on tonight's menu we have Mind Freezing Heavy Metal, Cthulhu Raising Lovecraftian Doom Metal, and then also some Scottish Black Metal. So let's get stuck in. So first up on the menu we have a band called Haunt, which is the traditional heavy metal band, and it's their album Mind Freeze. Haunt is a band from California. This is the third full length release, but it's the first one I'm actually checking out. I haven't actually heard any of the prior work, but after listening to this, bit of a spoiler, um, I'll definitely check out the rest, because this album is a banger. So how it's going to work, I'm going to pick a couple of songs that I loved, a song that I didn't quite love, tell you my thoughts, and then wrap it up as a whole at the end and give you my score. So let's talk about some of the songs that I really loved. So the first up, the song, the title track, Mind Freeze, is one of the best off the album. I absolutely love this one. The groove of it, it kind of feels like a um, epic doom band rather than a traditional heavy metal band. It seems like an epic doom kind of song, but with traditional heavy metal vocals layered on top. So it's got that nice kind of dynamic between the heavy metal vocals plus a doomy kind of sound to this um, this song, which I genuinely love. The guitar work in this one is fantastic. The riffs are catchy. The whole thing is catchy, especially that chorus. That chorus has just been stuck in my head for days now. So it's the lyric, I mean, I've just got it up here. It's the lyric, uh, it's freezing in my mind. And after he sings that during the chorus, the guitar kicks in and it's just, it's just a great time. That chorus is fantastic. This song is a must. This song is a must. Even if you don't get the album, check out this song because it's on iTunes and it's, it's probably on Spotify as well. I haven't checked, but because I have iTunes, but it's probably on Spotify as well. So definitely check that song out because it is killer. The song at times also feels kind of cyberpunk with like the synths layered throughout and just the overall feeling of it. it feels kind of like you're walking through Neon Tokyo, about to start fighting some androids or something it has that kind of feel to it and maybe it's just me but that's what i'm getting from the song as well usually i'm not a big fan of like synth shit in songs but this works well it works well and there's a couple of other songs on here as well which do it as well but i think haunt just do it amazingly so yeah mind free is an amazing song and probably the best chorus on the album next up i'm going to talk about saviors of man speaking of choruses this one is fantastic as well and also, speaking of cyberpunk, the synths are the intro of this song as well. Like, drag you into the song. They put the hooks in you and they keep it there. Because this intro is catchy as hell. And the riffs in it straight after the intro, even better. Even better. I love songs that build up. And this is a builder of a song. It kind of goes like a mountain and then... That's the best kind of songs when it builds up. It keeps going faster and faster and the riffs go faster and faster until it explodes to an amazing solo. Maybe I'm alone in this one, but the the solo and just the riffage in this song reminds me of like Maiden, like Somewhere in Time, you know that album by Maiden? The kind of futuresque kind of sounding Maiden album. This has a lot of similarities to that, this song in particular. There's also a couple of other songs on the album which kind of remind me of Maiden, especially Somewhere in Time. So I think if you do love that album, you should definitely check out Mind Freeze because there's a lot of similarities, a lot of interesting riffs. And there's another riff later on in the song which is kind of gallopy and kind of reminds me of something from um, Peace of Mind by Maiden as well. So it has a lot of inspirations from, you know, the old heavy metal bands of Yonder. But I definitely see the similarities between Summer and Time and I love that album. I think it's one of the best Maiden albums. So yeah, this song gets 10 out of 10 for me. Amazing song. Now let's talk about a song that I'm not too keen on and that's Fight or Flight. It's the shortest song, it's one of the shortest songs on the album, and it's the one that I'm least keen on. It just, it doesn't have enough time to kind of grab me, I don't think. And I think short songs work well for thrash and death metal, because they're punchy as anything, but for heavy metal, for tr traditional heavy metal, eh, not so much. Short songs are not the best for traditional heavy metal, in my opinion. It needs to be at least like a four minute, five minute song. At least. All the best traditional heavy metal songs are about that length. Any shorter, like three minutes and stuff, it's kind of like there's nothing to grab onto. It's just kind of, eh, it's, it's fine. I don't hate it. It's just my least favorite on the album, just because of the length and the vocal style in it. I'm not a big fan. It's a bit underwhelming, in my opinion. 
his vocals in a lot of the other songs are fantastic, but just this song in particular doesn't grab me. It doesn't grab me. It might change in time, but at the current moment, it's the weakest for me. So that's just a couple of songs from the album, some that I loved, one that I'm not too keen on, but the rest in it are also amazing. This album is a really fun, really fun traditional heavy metal album. I was surprised how fun this record is without bordering the cheese as well. It doesn't cross over into cheese territory. It stays on its course and it's a fun traditional heavy metal ride. So yeah, if you like those kind of old school bands, I think you'll love this. For me, it's getting a 7.5 out of 10. Mind freeze. Definitely check this one out. Next up, we have the Cthulhu inspired Lovecraftian band and it's a stoner doom band called Tortuga and it's their album Deities. Now, I didn't know what to expect for this. This is just a new one from Bandcamp, just the same as Haunt, just the same as the next one I'm going to talk about. So I just went in, I thought, you know, it says Doom, so it's going to be good. Checked it out, and I was pleasantly surprised. It was good. It's sludgy as anything, and yeah, I absolutely loved it. So let's talk about it. Tortuga are a stoner Doom band from Poland, and this is their second full-length release. Now, again, like Horn, I didn't check out the first one. So I'm going in fresh and new with this album, and yeah, it didn't disappoint. So I'm going to tell you some songs that I liked, and a song that I'm not too keen on. So let's go. So I loved Esoteric Order. It's one of my favourites on the album. That intro, it just grabs you right away. It's that slow tap of the cymbals at the intro, and then the fuzzy guitar riff kicks in, and you're just like, yeah, I know I'm going to like this. I know I'm going to like this. If you like bands like Sleep, if you like bands like High on Fire, stuff like that, Dope Throne, then, you know, you're going to enjoy this album. And this song definitely, definitely pulls you in. There's also like a chant, a kind of singy chant in the background, while the slow fuzzy guitars are kicking in on this song, which I just think adds like a layer of atmosphere to it, which I really enjoy. And then from the middle on, there's just this groove to the song. It's super groovy. <laughs> it, it, no, there is like a awesome groove to it and when the vocal line when he says run 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 and the guitars just go mental it's just the best time ever the guitar after that vocal line the guitars get louder and louder more fuzzier more distorted and it's just a better 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 time there's also a section in the middle of the song which is kind of cinematic which really caught me off guard and i really enjoyed and there's also a section in it which goes super fast like i didn't expect that in the stoner Doom band, but it goes super fast and it caught me off guard and I loved it. I love the, that they're taking chances. I love the cinematic storytelling in some of these songs as well, with uh, the vocal, like the speaking parts and stuff. Some work really well, some not so much. We'll get to that a bit later, but on this song, works really well. Love this song. Definitely check this one out first, I'd say. Now, the next one I love is Trip. Now, again, this is an awesome, awesome stonery doomy stonery doomy kind of song like esoteric order but there's many parts on this song which don't just remind me of bands like sleep they remind me of tool there's so many riffs in it and just changes and pauses in the song that just remind me of a tool song and i love tool so this is going high in my ranking for the uh songs on this album because i just love the changes in this song i just think the pauses just add so much so there's just the, the personality of the song. The intro as well hits you kind of like with a Motorhead-esque kind of riff, which sounds weird for a Stoner Doom band because Motorhead's like pretty much speed. But I don't know, it's just so fast and intense, that intro. And there's just so many changes, like I said before, kind of like a Tool song, that this song just is fantastic. It's one of the best on the album, in my opinion. So basically this song, if you imagine Black Sabbath, Tool, Motorhead, all having sex with Cthulhu, this is the outcome, and it's fantastic. You should definitely check this song out. Now, one I'm not too keen on, and I don't hate it, and it's just probably the weakest on the album for me, and that's For a Lizard, or E-Lizard, like E-Lizard, and it's fine. I do enjoy the riffs in it, but I think the spoken section and the kind of cinematic quality overtakes the uh, song, in my opinion, which is a bit... A bit sad because I do like the riffage, like I said, but there's a bit too much spoken word sections in this song, and it, there is funny parts like 
when you hear in the background shouting about Godzilla. I think they say like Godzilla's being hungry or something and it just made me chuckle. Also I think the singing on this one is probably the weakest. It kind of borders cheese. It doesn't quite go there but it borders it. Because he definitely sounds a lot different on this song than the rest of the song. Because some songs sound more Death Doom. Some sound, songs sound more Stonery Doom. And this one just sounds kind of epic Doom. But it's just the accent he does on it. I just can't get my head around. So that's another thing that I'm not too keen on about this song. But overall, it's still, it's still an alright song. But I just prefer every other song on the album. So overall, this is a fantastic Stoner Doom album. If you're into sleep, high and fire... You know, Sabbath, anything doomy, Candlemas, shit like that, you'll enjoy this. If you're into kind of Lovecrafty and weird metal, because this is a weird album, it's very unique as well, so I definitely suggest checking it out. You'll find them on Bandcamp, same as Haunt. Really fun album, did enjoy myself, and I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. So the next album, the final album we're checking out, is a Scottish black metal band called Slough. I don't know if it's actually Slough or Slough. I don't know how to actually say it. Fun fact, Slough of the Restless Spirits of the Dead, very apt for this haunting album, but I think it fits well. So yeah, this is the first release. It is a EP, not an LP, at least according to YouTube. On the actual band camp, it doesn't actually say, so it is about 20, 20 minutes in length, maybe 24 minutes, but I have to talk about this album because it's my favourite so far this year. It's only, I think, an EP, but it's my favourite so far this year. So you know the score's gonna be high, but let's talk about the album as a whole. Now, the songs are all numbered. So, you know, you're going from one to six or whatever. So when I say the number of the tracks, you know that's the actual track I'm talking about. Not, it gets a bit confusing, but you'll know what I mean if you go on Bandcamp and check out the album. So let's start with some that I loved. The first one I love is number two, the second song on this album. But before I get to that, let me just say that the first song on the album, it kicks you right into gear. The, the opening is just a terrifying scream, probably like a, a blood curdling scream, like the craziest you'll ever hear. And it just sets you up for what the album's going to be. I love that intro. The intro is fantastic. So I just wanted to mention that because yeah, track one just punches you right in the gut. We're talking about my favourites. Number two is one of my favourites. It's like a mixture of like intensity and atmosphere, which is why I prefer it a little bit more. A little bit more. It does have more atmospheric kind of black metal sounds in the middle and near the end of this song, but it also has those intense, you know, crazy drumming, crazy shrieks. It has best of both worlds. Sometimes bands do one or the other. I like it when bands do both. And this is a song that does both, so I absolutely love this for that. Also, the screams on number two sound more prolonged and like they come from the heart rather than they just stepped on some Lego. So it feels a lot more personal, this song. So which is another reason why I think it's one of the best songs on the album. Yeah, I just love the screams on it. The sound, if I was talking about the band as a whole, the sound is kind of like Death Spell Omega-ish. Um, that's probably the band I'd compare the most to with that crazy screaming just the whole atmosphere of it, but they have some, like I said, the atmosphere, they have some atmospheric shit, kind of like Windy or Burrs and kind of bands like that, so it's the best of both worlds, which is why I love it. But yeah, number two, definitely check that one out. The next one that I love, number four, um, this is a lot slower tempo than a lot of the other songs, which is again, I love Doom, I love Black, Black and Doom, hell yeah, but this, this is pure Black, but it's just a lot slower. Love this song. Like the riffs and stuff, I don't want to insult the band by comparing them to these guys, but it sounds a lot like Alcest. There's some riffs in here that sound a lot like Alcest, and the screams and just the slower tempo of everything, and Alcest is one of my favourite bands of all time, so I like it for that. I do like it for that. It's a longer song as well, so it gets more intense the longer you listen to it, and it's again, it's like a journey, and you know I love those journey kind of songs. So this one just hits all the right nails on the heads. The screaming, the intensity, the longer, a longer song. It's it's great. This one is fantastic. Now this is the time where I talk about a song that I didn't like. <laughs> I liked every song on this album. There's not a single bad song on this album. 
like that isn't. I listened to the entire thing multiple times and I can't fault it really. I mean, if I was gonna, if I was gonna fault it, I can't give it a perfect score. If I was gonna fault it, because it is an EP, you know, it's a lot short. I would have preferred some more longer songs. Would have preferred some more longer songs. Would have preferred more songs. But again, I can't really hold that against it because it is an EP. So if we're talking about EPs, this is getting like a 9.5. This is getting a 9.5. I absolutely love this. I love this release. If we're talking about albums, I'll give it a 9. Just because... Just because more songs, longer songs. I can't get it to 10. Um, if they made a full album of this, and I hope they do, uh, on the next release, it might... It might raise up to a perfect score, but I can't. I can't give it a perfect score just yet, just because I crave more and it doesn't. It doesn't have more, so that's not a fault against the band, though. So I'd say definitely check this out if you love harrowing, harrowing screams, pain screams. If you like Death Below Mega, if you like bands of that nature, if you like black metal in general, actually just check this out. It's a great album. It's on Bandcamp. And you should definitely check it out. So hopefully you enjoyed the little reviews of these three albums. Hopefully you checked them out on Bandcamp. Listen to them. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Also tell me some albums you're looking forward to this month. And hopefully I'll review them. I'm going to try and do it each week. I'm going to do three. Because it's the Metal Freedom. We're going to do three albums a week. And this is just a free that I picked this week. So put some suggestions in the comments below for next week. And I'll see if I can see if I can get to them. So yeah. Hopefully you had a good time and we'll see you again on another Metal Threesome.